Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is episode 3 of my colour pencil series and these videos are every Tuesday. And so today's video I'm going to be showing you how I like to blend my colour pencils. And so for this video I'm going to be demonstrating 4 different methods of how I like to blend my colour pencils. So the first method that I'm showing you guys is layering and burnishing. And layering is where you apply the pencil really smoothly and with very little pressure and just keep building up the layers until you get really smooth coverage. And the key to do this is to make sure that you have a really sharp pencil all the time. Because when you have a really fine point it means that you can get into all the crevices of the paper so that you have very little of that white graininess showing through. And the more you layer the less of that white graininess that you're going to have peering through. So when I'm applying the coloured pencils I'm using really fine circular motions and I'm making sure that when I'm doing the circles that I'm overlapping the circles so that there's not such harsh stop and start points because when you do lots and lots of circles and overlap them it's impossible to see where the lines have started and stopped because you're not creating harsh scribbly lines. So what I recommend is that you start at a certain area and create circles that overlap and expand from that area until you cover the whole of the area that you want to apply the colour to and you can really avoid creating scribbles by making sure that all of your pencil lines are going in the same direction and that you're not applying a lot of pressure when you're applying the colour pencil. So the first thing that I did was I applied the lighter blue colour and then I'm applying the darker blue colour. So to do this tutorial I'm using the Prismacolor Premier colour pencils and I'm using a dark blue and a lighter blue and then a dark purple and a lighter purple and this is so I can show you how to transition between different colours. As I build up the layers I slowly apply more and more pressure and this is to help blend the colours together. Layering is really useful no matter what technique you're using because you need to have enough of the pencil onto the paper to blend in the first place. So when you're layering it's really important that you do really smooth layering because it's going to be hard to blend something if you've got really hard lines that you've pushed into the paper and really scribbly and all your lines going in all different directions it's going to be really hard to try and blend that out to get it really really smooth so I advise that you make sure that you're going in all of the same directions and that you're using really small circular motions and make sure that you keep your pencil really fine and sharp and then make sure that you're just applying very little pressure at all until you get to more of the final layers where you can apply a bit more pressure so with each of these four methods I'm going to be first showing you how this method works using a Sophia so I'm just colouring in the circle and then I'm going to show you how you can apply this technique to colouring in a flower. I'd say layering and burnishing is really good if you want to get a really smooth creamy finish. The only problem is when you burnish you damage the tooth of the paper which means it's really hard to apply lots and lots of additional layers over that and fix it if you have any problems because once you damage the tooth of the paper the paper won't take any more additional layers. So I'm showing you how I'm drawing the sphere a lot slower just so that I can show you how to do each method and then I'm going to speed up going through the flowers because this is just to show you the kinds of results you can get from each technique and so that you can compare the results at the end. The main things that I like about the burnishing technique is that you can get really smooth finishes and really vibrant colours and that it's really easy to blend them into each other especially with wax coloured pencils. With oil coloured pencils it's a bit trickier because they don't have such a creamy tendency. And then the couple of cons of this technique is that firstly it means that you have to damage the tooth of the paper which means it's hard to fix any mistakes. And secondly because when you burnish you have to apply quite a bit of pressure. If you want to do this a lot then that means that you might get a bit of an achy wrist form and this means that you might not be able to sit for such long periods of time drawing. Okay so now I'm moving on to blending the flower and the first thing that I do is I apply a light layer of that light blue colour and then I start building up the shadows and to do this I'm using the darker blue colour on the inner side of the petal and so I'm just using this lightly and then I'll blend it out in a minute and what I'm going to be doing is applying a bit of the darker purple to the tip of the petal and a bit of the lighter purple where I'm going to transition into the blue. And then once I've done that I blended out the whole thing with the lighter blue colour and added a bit more of the darker blue and the purples.
Okay, so moving on to the second method, and this is blending with a solvent. So you can use paint thinner or Gamsol, or like I'm using today, I'm using the Zest It Pencil Blend. And this method is a method that I use a lot and it's really good because it means you can blend the colour pencil without damaging the tooth of the paper, which is really useful because it means you can apply lots and lots of layers on top. So when you're using solvent, you don't have to worry so much that your layering is perfect. Of course, try and get it not scribbly and don't press down hard at all because if you have lines pressed down into your paper, then it's not going to be able to blend out those lines smoothly. But you don't have to worry so much about getting light grainy bits because when you blend out with the solvent, it'll get rid of all that anyway. So I'm just applying all the colours like I did before. So I'm using the same layering process. And then I'm using a bit of the Zest It Pencil Blend on a paintbrush. And I'm just using that to blend out this first layer. And once that's completely dry, you can go over it again with multiple layers. And as long as you apply the paint thinner and let it dry, then you can apply more and more layers on top. If you try to apply the colour pencil while the paper still wet then you could run into the risk of damaging the paper as you apply more and more layers it's really important that you use less and less paint thinner each time because if you apply too much then it will wreck all the layers underneath that you created so what i love about the solvent is that it means that you can blend the color pencils really really quickly and it really speeds up the process and it also means that you don't hurt your wrist because you don't have to apply any pressure at all when you're blending with the solvent Okay, so now I'm moving on to the third method, and this is where I'm using a pencil blender to help blend the colour pencil. So each brand normally does their own type of pencil blender, and for this tutorial I'm using the Caran Dash Pencil Colourless Blender, because I don't have any Prismacolor blenders on me, but it should work the same, seems as they are both wax based pencils. So I am applying the layers just the same and the key thing to remember is that the pencil blender is only going to do a really good job if there's enough colour pencil on the paper for it to blend. And also it's only going to blend it smoothly if that pencil was applied really smoothly and not scribbly and there's not a lot of pressure applied to the pencil. So again I layered the pencils just like I did the first time and then I go in with the Caran Dash blender and first I used it on the sides. However when I want to fill in the bits of white graininess I go to the tip of the blender and use it with a bit more pressure and again I do this in circular motions. The pencil blender isn't my favourite method to use, I don't use it that much, I use the pencil blender in conjunction with the burnishing and layering process, so I usually do it at the end once I've burnished just to give a final smoothing over, but I don't use it on its own as a method. It tends to be that I tend to use all four of these methods at some point, but I usually use them in conjunction with each other, because one method might suit something that you're drawing better than another method. So for example, I love using the solvent on the landscapes and on animal fur, but I don't like using it on the skin because I think it's hard to get it perfectly flawless, whereas I think burnishing is easier because you have more control over the smoothness that you can create. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the last colour pencil method, and this is where I am using the white colour pencil as a blender. And you can use any other colour pencil for this, but I'm using the white colour pencil, and that's the colour pencil that I usually use. 
And so for this method, I'm applying the coloured pencils as usual and just layering those coloured pencils. But then instead of when you burnish where you just use the colours individually and apply a lot of pressure for each one and then ease the colours into each other, I'm just going to layer all the colours and then go over the whole thing with the white coloured pencil and use that as the burnisher to blend out the whole thing. And this will lighten the colours a bit, but then once you've blended it out and got that first smooth layer, then you can glaze all the other colours over it with the sides of the pencils. And this is really good because it doesn't ruin the smoothness that you created, but it helps replenish some of those colours, otherwise it will be a bit too pale. Overall, I do love all of these ways to blend colour pencils, but my two favourites are probably using the white colour pencil to blend and using the solvent to blend, and those are the two that I commonly use together. Anyway guys that's it for today's video, if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future colour pencil tutorial videos, I also have fan art drawings and original drawings on a Friday. As always I'll leave my social media links in the description below, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!